Oh, this is Bell Cornell here playing Fallout 4. First, let me go back to Diamond City Market. What I think is, I want Nick Valentine. the battle between the Brotherhood and the Institute? The one at Bunker Hill? A bunch of people got killed or something. Total bloodbath. I know, I was there. I didn't have to kill anyone because I wanted to... Thank you. It's like I can finally think straight. <clears throat> I don't know why we let Valentine live in the city. He saves one or two people and everyone forgets he's a freaking simp. Well, you don't want to help me destroy the Sims. Maybe if Nick touches me, maybe people would like him more. Can't believe Marty made it all the way to the Grasshopper. Hey, Valentine. Seems I have to hit the road. Credit. Let's head out. Well, all right. So, any stories you two come across out there? I get the exclusive, right? Piper, I wouldn't know who else to tell. Guess it's good I never visited Doc Crocker to get that touch-up I've been thinking about. Nothing stays hidden forever. Crazy Institute. He's not a buy of my What's going on? Dr. Higgs and Dr. Loken have decided they've taken control of the bioscience security. I'm sure they'll come. I know these men, and I can assure you they are completely okay. serious. Why are they even doing this? Maybe I can reason with them. I believe I can help with that. I can unlock the maintenance tunnel that leads to the bioscience. From there, oh, yeah. you should be able to communicate. If you can't reason with them, you can use this hollow tape to access the command functions on the observation room terminal. That should give you some options. Just please try to talk to them first. Use violence only. Here we are. Just give me a moment. There, it's unlocked. Thank you.
Wait, wait, I think we're in the wrong room. Excuse me, Doctor. If you've come to change our minds, then you're wasting your time. I know you're angry, but there's a better way to handle this. Oh, you're right. Yeah, there is. You see, I've tried talking. For years, I've suggested that we do things differently here, but nobody listens. Let's see if anyone can afford to ignore me now. Father believes in me. The least you can do is give me a chance. How what? If you've come to change our minds, then go. I know you're angry, but if oh, you're wrong. Let's see if any. Uh -huh. Father believes in me. The least you can do is give me a chance. How could you hope to lead us when you hardly know anything about what we do? I'm sure you mean well, but you must see that it's an impossible task. I'm under no illusion that this will be easy. Your determination is admirable. The truth is simply this. Can't you at least give me a chance? A chance? Hmm. What do you think, Max? Because the most fastidious researcher must sometimes take a leap of faith. I say let's give it a try. Very well, then. Open the door and let's return to the fold. Systems nominal. I honestly thought Dr. Lee or Dr. Holdren would be appointed to succeed Father. So did I. You have a lot to learn if you're really going to be the next director Newton. of the Institute. Bravo. I admit I was. I'm just glad they listened to me. <laughs> Indeed. There is one further matter to discuss. Obviously, some kind of disciplinary action must be taken. There's no need to drag this out. I believe they... Your compassion and understand... I'll take that hollow tape. I also wanted to offer you something as a more personal expression. Mm -hmm. I know that your work often takes you to the surface where supplies are scarce. I gathered these items together for you. I think you'll find them useful. I would be happy to assist. See one? I would be happy to assist you. Do you require anything? Project you helped with. It's coming along. 
You understand, right? you're eager to get your hands dirty. Whatever it is. It will, but we've got a lot of work ahead of us. Come on. Unless you're blind as a bat, I'm sure you've noticed that we've been building a gantry on the tarmac. Maxon and Kells have been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. Now, the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new project comes in. storage bay full of parts is what's left of the Liberty The Brotherhood used it in the Capital Wasteland as a weapon against the Enclave. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had wow. at its disposal. Fortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. It'll take a miracle to get this pile of junk operational. You think he looks rough now? You should have seen him when I unsealed the salvage crates filled with his parts. Now, the good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad yeah. news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. And the first problem is his CPU. It's fragile, and every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. Why is the power blowing out a CPU? Liberty Prime has a highly complex power system. A good deal of that system was damaged when he exploded. So I'm working in the dark, trying to come up with parts on my own. Luckily, you were able to convince Dr. Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. 
I've already spoken to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with this power system, we can get the big guy moving. My oh, Attention, this is a notice to all personnel. Please think of your brothers and sisters down below. Thoroughly secure all gear while on the flight deck. Thank you. If you're here to talk me into working on Liberty Prime, you can forget it. Oh, you promised you'd help us. You're right, I did. But you neglected to mention that I'd be asked to work on Liberty Prime. I've been down this road with the Brotherhood before. Why would I make the same mistake twice? Because we care what happens to the Commonwealth. You may not like the Brotherhood, but the people of the Commonwealth shouldn't have to suffer for it. You know, if anyone else wearing a Brotherhood of Steel uniform said something like that, I'd laugh in their face. But coming from you, it sounds like you actually mean it. Tell Proctor Ingram to get her scribes ready. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime back online. We should stock up on supplies before we begin our next mission. Virgil is no longer a super mutant. His cure worked. He's no threat to us. What? That... that thing actually found a cure? Hmm. He can't be trusted. But as a human, he's trapped in the glowing sea. Maybe he can still be an asset to us. All right. We'll continue to monitor him. For now. For your service, allow me to offer you a new helm for your power armor. Wear it with pride. You've earned my respect, Knight. Not many can say that. Carry on. Ad Victorium.
Hi. The human looking synths are the worst. They hide in plain sight. I don't want to hear now. I don't want I hear a cat. But I don't see it. Oh, it's a cat. So that's how it's come from, come from the cat. Dr. Ingram. Well, things are off to a good start. Isn't that right, Doctor? I hope so. Prime suffered some significant damage to his memory core. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. The good news is that the damage isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If your people stay out of my way, that is. Hmm. Charming, isn't she? Yeah. Sorry about that, Ingram. Don't worry about it. We might be butting heads on a few issues, but I've dealt with worse. Besides, Dr. Lee's worth all... We're working with one of Prime's original... In fact, since things are going so well, we're gonna have you start building as electromagnetic actuators. Sure. Mm -hmm. You're ready to leap into action, and I bet you don't have the faint... The actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's arm... Prime's new limbs are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're gonna have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnet. What we need you to do is build the actuators. Mm -hmm. Now that you know what the actuators are, you need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't. Now before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of... Good luck. 